Hi everyone, happy Monday. Hope you had a fun weekend. Gosh, we only have a few weeks left of this school online videos. It's coming down to the last few weeks, my goodness. We sure miss you guys. Um, this week, we have decided to have the theme of shapes and colors. I know this will be a great theme for all of you because we're all at different levels. So if you don't know all your shapes or all your colors, you can really learn them this week and really focus on tracing them and looking at them and observing them in your house. And I'll kind of go through some things with you about activities. And if you already know them, which a lot of you do in my five day, I am challenging you to do a lot of writing this week, a lot of sounding out when you write. So you can make sure when you write the word red, you're saying r, r, r. What letter makes that sound? Red, d, d. What letter makes that sound? I know a lot of you can be doing that and start really thinking about the sounds that you hear and figuring out what letters they are, okay? All of you should be doing a lot of cutting right now with scissors at home. And make sure you clean up after yourselves too. But cutting is such a great um, tool to be using constantly and to practice. We do that at preschool so much is cutting. And I know Miss Sarah has shared with you many um, explanations of how to hold those scissors and how to cut. So I hope that those are helpful hints for you guys. So today I have sent along a document for your parents with some printouts or you can just look at the screen. You don't have to print them out. And these are just ideas for you. Of course, these are just ideas. Things that you can work on, things that you can be creative with. The first sheet that you're all gonna have or see is just a sheet with some shapes on it. And you can take your finger and trace over them. You could cut them out. You could color them in. And five day, you can write the name of the shape inside each shape and try to sound it out, okay? You're also gonna have some fun worksheets where you're gonna have to follow a little bit of direction. These are kind of fun and exciting. There's a, a butterfly and up here it has a legend, which is basically telling you what you're gonna be doing. This is a star and it says yellow. So in the butterfly, you have to find all the stars and color them in yellow. Two, three day and five day, really try to stay in the line. Just do your best, okay? So they can really be separate pieces of your butterfly. See if you can do that. Another activity, which is very similar, is just with the shapes. So same idea. A star, color it yellow. A, a square, color it blue. Same idea up here. And just focus on your pencil or your pen or your crayon grip and see how you're doing really holding it the correct way, a comfortable way. So you can try to start staying in the lines a little bit more for some of you. Today, you don't have to worry about that as much, um, but really work on tracing with your children and reading over what the shapes are. And then we have a really fun activity for you. We are gonna have a shape hunt and a color hunt this week. And everything is in the handout for you. You can just write this down on a card too. You don't have to print it out. It is a shape hunt and a color hunt. And all you have to do is write down some shapes and write down some colors and have your child go on a hunt in different rooms of your house and count how many times they see that shape in that room and help them maybe make tally marks and then add them up and figure out which shape is the most popular in your house. Do you have circles everywhere all over the place? Do you have triangles? Have you looked around and found so many triangles in your home? So work with your children on this. Make it a really fun game. Show them how it works one or two times so they understand. And then a lot of them will be able to just kind of take over and do it on their own. Here is a list as well that's in the document of the names of the rooms in your home. And children can cut these out as well and paste them onto the piece of paper where the shapes are. Okay, so just kind of fun things to be creative and, and help you so you have kind of some extra tools to use with this theme this week. So that's kind of a, a quick introduction to shape and colors. Also on your document, you will have a whole list of a bunch of different shapes. A lot of shapes we know already, 
but you'll be introduced to some new shapes. For example, this is a hexagon, a hexagon. Have you ever heard of a hexagon? If you think of my creation station, the table for the creation station, that table is a hexagon. Okay, so have fun with shapes and colors this week. I hope that all of you are doing well and staying healthy. We sure miss you and we are really looking forward to our graduation celebration and seeing all of your beautiful faces. So have a wonderful week, have fun, enjoy.